In this video, as we wrap up March 2024, I'd like to introduce some must-have new Fallout 4 mods. First up, let's delve into gameplay-related mods, starting with Invisible Pip-Boy. This mod hides the Pip-Boy in third-person view. In first-person view, you can toggle the Pip-Boy's visibility through the MCM menu or assign hotkeys to show or hide it. Essentially, in third-person view, the Pip-Boy disappears permanently after opening the Vault 111 door. However, in first-person view, you can use hotkeys to toggle its visibility. While some players who prefer an analog feel may not want the Pip-Boy to vanish, others may find it cumbersome to have a bulky Pip-Boy strapped to their wrist when trying to capture screenshots of characters in beautiful outfits. Therefore, with this mod, you can now remove the Pip-Boy from your wrist. Next up is CSEP Presents the Experiment. This mod adds a quest with various choices and endings. It delves into heated conflicts and life-threatening situations underground, where the player's decisions impact the course of the game, and Dr. offering Kyle over and 400 fully voiced dialogue lines and RPG if elements, we it provides an engaging to experience. To play the mod, you'll need the extended dialogue interface, and the quest begins by entering a new house at the southern end of Natick Banks, offering challenging encounters. Dive back into the fun of Fallout 4 with this quest mod, Next up is Extended Diamond City Security Dialogue. This mod provides Diamond City security guards with new dialogue options. The new conversations are all voiced using voice synthesis and are nearly identical to the original voices. Keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna start thinking yours. With this mod, guards now offer conversations explaining the current date, weather, and more. Additionally, if a location in the greater Boston area is cleared, security personnel may mention it, and they even offer congratulations, expanding in-game dialogue to enrich the atmosphere of Diamond City. Next up is Flutter Flicker Fixer for Foliage. This mod addresses the foliage flickering issue in Fallout 4. It's composed only of meshes, without any plugins, and the creator mentions that the flickering of plants occurs when the animation data is not properly utilized. This mod claims to fix that issue, particularly when attempting to smooth out the vibrations with TAA. Branches may suddenly blur, but this mod purportedly resolves that symptom. It improves the wind movement data of foliage elements, providing a smoother visual experience. In this segment, We'll introduce two settlement and housing-related mods. We have a couple of mods we'd like to showcase. First up is Rebuild All-in-One, Second Edition. This mod allows players in Fallout 4 to fully repair certain parts of their settlements that are broken and cannot be repaired, restoring them to their pristine state. It encompasses a total of 11 settlements, including Coastal Cottage, Egret Tours Marina, Grey Garden, Kingsport Lighthouse, and Murkwater. For those who are fans of the Rebuild mod series, this mod offers the convenience of reducing ESP plugins and easy installation. Next up is Survivalist's Bus. This mod adds a modified mobile home inside a bus for the player. You can travel between 50 predefined locations, including the Commonwealth, Nuka World, and Far Harbor regions, as well as external settlements. The concept is to travel to desired locations by riding the bus. To unlock a desired location, you must first visit it. Upon entering the area, a message will appear. Then, you can board the bus located in Lexington, activate the navigator, set your destination, and speak to the robot to travel to the desired location. This mod is especially useful in survival mode where fast travel is restricted, enhancing the gameplay experience. I highly recommend this mod as the creator's idea is innovative and the functionality is excellent. This time, I'd like to introduce the American drama, Fallout, which is set to premiere on Amazon Prime Video on April 12, 2024. While it's not specifically about mods, I believe viewers who love the Fallout series will welcome this news. The series seems to capture the unique atmosphere of the Fallout games quite well, depicting the story of citizens living in an underground bunker in a radiation-contaminated Los Angeles, protecting themselves from radiation, mutants, and raiders. The series consists of a total of eight episodes and will be available for streaming on Amazon Prime Video, starring Ella Purnell, Aaron Moten, Walton Goggins, Moises Arias, Johnny Pemberton, Kyle McLaughlin, and others. If you're interested, I recommend watching it through Amazon Prime. In this time, I'd like to share the official release news of Fallout 4 London. 
The Fallout London mod for Fallout 4 is a DLC-sized expansion that adds additional features and content to the game. Set against the backdrop of London, UK, this mod offers a fresh experience of the Fallout series. Fallout London is scheduled for official release on April 23, 2024. The mod will be available approximately two weeks after the premiere of the Fallout TV series on Prime Video. Originally planned for release in the third quarter of 2023, Fallout London was postponed to the fourth quarter of 2023 to avoid overlap with Starfield's release. The mod development team adjusted the release schedule to enhance the testing process. Fallout London reflects the history and aesthetic elements of London, portraying the beloved city in the world of nuclear war. This mod promises an unforgettable experience for Fallout fans. This time, let's talk about some noteworthy modular outfit mods I'd like to introduce to you. First up is the Modern Military Pack. This outfit is a modern military apparel pack for both male and female characters, boasting high quality and featuring remarkable modularity with various color patches. Supporting a total of 11 colors, it can be crafted in the ChemLab's Modern Military Pack section. It includes a variety of headgear such as hoods that can be repositioned, parachute harnesses, armored vests, gas masks, buffs, shooting goggles, beanies, and boonie hats. Additionally, it features various types of gloves, backpacks, and backpack options. Next up is Girls Frontline 2 Lena. This mod adds the outfit of Girls Frontline 2 Lena. The visual is quite reminiscent of a school uniform with the striking yellow jumper. The combination of the arm warmers and stockings enhances the charm of this outfit even further. If you've been interested in Girls Frontline, you're likely to appreciate this attire. Next up is the Kisley RPP Spike, an anti-terror t-shirt battle encounter assault regiment add-on. This mod adds the Kisley RPP Spike Knife to the game, along with the Kisley RPP Spike and Anti-Terror T-Shirt from the Battle Encounter Assault Regiment mod. The black T-Shirt with the knife motif in the center is quite striking, so if you like the outfits in the video, give it a try. Next up is World War II, USA Paratrooper Uniform. This mod adds high-quality outfits that evoke the feel of American soldiers. The grenade decoration on the left shoulder and the backpack with US written on it are quite impressive. Especially notable are the well-crafted creases and wrinkles on the combat uniform, along with its distinctive rich brown color. It can be crafted at the chem station and is more suitable for male characters than female ones, in my opinion. If you like the outfits in the video, give it a try. As we conclude March 2024, these are the must-have new Fallout 4 mods that you shouldn't miss out on. If this video is helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting mod showcases. Stay tuned for the next video, and until then, happy modding.